How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and today we start a brand new playthrough of one of my favorite games of all time, Resident Evil 4. Or I should say, this is the remake to one of my favorite games of all time. It's a little bit different in uh, quite a few ways actually, so I can't really call it the same game anymore. I mean, it is and it isn't. You guys are going to see. I've only played the intro basically i haven't gotten too far into the game so for the most part it's going to be a blind playthrough though i will say i have beaten this game well the original on gamecube at least twice i beat it on wii with the motion pointing controls or whatever and then most recently i beat it on oculus in vr and that was for me the best version of resident evil 4 uh just being able to control with your hands the knife and the gun and being able to run and shoot and it, it just felt incredible uh so in that regard this game almost feels like a step back because we're going back to the third person uh, camera and all that but they have added a few new quality of life changes and we'll get to that as we go all right let's go ahead and go main story and we're gonna go new game. Actually, before I go new game, let me go to extras because I can show you the costumes that I have unlocked. So this is the default Leon costume with and without a jacket, hero Leon, and I can't spin it around or anything. So this is the only picture you get. Villain, which looks <laughs> so uh, emo and cool. Kind of looks like Dante, uh, casual Leon. Probably my least favorite looking, to be honest. And romantic, Leon. Look at those pants with the side buttons. And then let's go ahead. Ooh, accessory. Yeah, sunglasses. I'm not going to use those. Ashley. So if you've ever beaten Resident Evil 4, you can tell instantly that Ashley looks quite a bit different from the original. I mean, not quite a bit. I mean, she's using the same outfit, but just her hair and face uh, is way different. Let's look at her outfits. Pretty pretty different, right? And then romantic. That one actually looks pretty good on her. I like the white hair too. But we're going to go classic for our first playthrough. And then you have filter. So regular hero just makes it look super washed out for some reason. And then villain. I actually would not mind doing a playthrough with the villain skin and the villain filter. But again, for now, we're not going to do that. And then original or new graphic uh, music sorry we're gonna just do the new music all right so we're gonna go new game standard difficulty here we go resident evil 4 remake i can't believe it's finally here the expanded treasure map has been applied you can now see locations of hidden treasures i think that was from pre-ordering the game so that's useful By the way, this game is not for kids, if you haven't figured that out. So, if you're a kid, I would recommend not watching any more of this video. No clue who that was, just September some random. 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. Tell me, Yankee, 
Why did you come to this horrible place? <laughs> as close to nowhere that I've ever seen. It's sorry. So, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? It's so cool seeing she the new version. The himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure you boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. Leon looks so I cool. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> this is pretty much just like the original so far. Just better looking. I think this is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. This was also in the original. Te has bebido el bar entero? No idea what he said there. I don't speak whatever language. You smoke? That was. If you guys have never played this game, like, I know it's kind of like a horror game, but it's a, it's actually more like an action adventure game, really, with horror elements. Uh, the boss fights are just the, the gameplay in general is really fun. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time, or at least the original is. We'll see about the remake. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. All right, this is where the game begins, and uh, it's a little bit different than the original, but that's all right. So, chapter one. We're going to go ahead and try to complete the entirety of chapter one in this uh, first video, if I can. Now, as you can see, we're already like in a tutorial, um, just going to tell us what to do and everything, but... Pretty much it's the same as before, except uh, now you can crouch like this. I wish you could do like a roll, but you cannot roll like a dash like in Elden Ring or Bloodborne or Dark Souls or anything like that. But uh, we don't have a stamina meter, so that's cool. Just kind of run forever if I want, I guess. How far could he have gone? I can't pull out my weapon or anything right now, so I would show you that if I could. But yeah, the graphics are pretty pretty cool. I mean, we're just looking at trees, but you can tell it's a lot better looking. Okay, that's disgusting. I can hear some crows, but I don't know what's going on. Right, let's crouch under this. All right, how much do you want to bet the guy who went to take a bathroom break is dead? You want to think he's dead? You think he's al alive? Place your bets. All right, let's go in the house and find out. He's got to be in here, right? Some nice firewood. Anyone home? Nobody in here. So... It, Resident Evil 4 is kind of like split between action sequences and calm, like, uh, looking for loot sequences. What does that say? Judgment is nigh. 
Dude, this is like a weapon. Look at that. I could take it and stab. Looks like it actually has been used as a weapon already once. <laughs> um, judging by the fresh blood on that. But yeah, like... Even though it's calm and quiet right now, like, you never know when action is just going to start exploding around you with, like, people trying to kill you. So you got to always be on your toes, basically. And it, it's made even more suspenseful here because I can't pick up a weapon. I can't use my weapons yet. I'm going to try not to talk during cutscenes. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. And, uh, yeah, he's probably dead. And rule number one, never turn your back on the enemy. And again, I guess we didn't know he was an enemy, technically, at that point. Looks like I busted his neck pretty good there. All right, we just heard a scream, so maybe he's still alive. This is not good. Let's grab the key to the hunter's lodge. So if there's a if this is a hunting lodge, where's the like uh, gun case? You know what I mean? Uh, wait a minute. Is there another way out of here? I don't remember. Nah. No. Okay, we gotta go. Wait, something on the ground here? Oh, just this. I should honestly uh, keep it. Like, I could give it to his family members or something, you know? I just shouldn't just leave it on the ground, but whatever. Guess I don't have, like, a backpack. Uh... Okay, we can't leave. The door we came in is locked, so we are stuck in here. So we need to find another way out. Alright, I already know there's nothing in here, so we're not going to look in there. There should be another door. Ah, uh, here it is. Ooh, look at the big symbol right there. Does anybody know what that says? Oh, I got my weapon now. Sick. Alright, cool, cool. Got my weapon. Let's use the key on the door. Ooh, the automatic flashlight is very satisfying. He just, as soon as I was like, man, I can't see anything, he just pulled out the flashlight without me doing anything. That's some interesting decorations. All right, um, so in the original, you could break barrels. I guess not that barrel. Oh, I like how I can hold the gun and the flashlight like that. That looks nice. I was basically doing that in VR. Honestly, I wouldn't mind playing this game in VR again. That was so fun. If you guys want to see a playthrough in VR, let me know. It's kind of hard to record VR, but I could try. But first, obviously, the remake. Hey. Uh, we found our boy. All he wanted to do was go to the bathroom. And he got his throat slashed. I read you. What's your situation? And our partner is dead. So that makes us alone. Both partners are dead. Escape from the Hunter's Lodge. All right, now we actually get to shoot. Oh, look, some more. If anybody can translate that and read that, like, I don't know what that says, but I wish I could. All right, I don't think we can interact with anything else, so let's just get out of here. What was that? I hear somebody upstairs. Ooh, it's the fucking way. Oh my god! Oh my! I thought you were dead. 
This just keeps getting worse. I only have six more bullets. I gotta be careful about that. And also, your knife has durability in this one, which I actually really don't like that. Because in the original, your knife did not have durability. What is going on in there? Surprise! I only got five shots. Wanted to shoot that lock and see if it could. Let's get the kick. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying not to use my knife that much, which is kind of weird because, like, like I said, in the original, I tried to use my knife more than my gun, and that was a way to conserve ammo. But in this one, your knife and your gun both have to be conserved. Oh, he broke through over here. I need more ammo. All right, our first green herb. Cool, cool. This is what our case looks like, our inventory. So I don't really have a whole lot going on. Oh, you can auto sort now. That's nice. Our map. I don't remember if there's any more pistol ammo in here. <coughs> hmm. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Hunnigan Our looks exactly the same. Well Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Gotta go. Talk later. Okay, we got company. In the original, when you're talking to oh, Hunnigan, so you're like holding a little communicator device, but in this one, it's just in my ear, I guess. He's like, nah, never mind, bro. It's not gonna kill you today. Head for the lake. Okie I shall. Bloody bridge. Not much to see. Man, the sounds and the way the game feels is really good, though. Very, very high quality. It's best not to, like, sprint everywhere because you can actually run into some traps doing that. Gunpowder, that's new. Gunpowder was not in the original. Anything? All right, so I'm assuming these big yellow barrels and we can break them. There we go, I desperately needed handgun ammo. What's in here? Oh, our first typewriter. Let me, I wanna test something out. Will the door close? Okay, so. See, it's not really working. In the original, if you pressed A once, you would open the door quietly. And then if you double tapped A, you would kick it. And if you kick it, it was useful when enemies were on the other side of the door. You could, like, smash them. But in this one, I haven't been able to do that. It's, it's either I just walk through the door or I press A once. An attach case, a charm, deluxe weapon. All right, so I, apparently I have a couple weapons that... Uh, come with just pre-ordering the game, so I don't really know if they're really good, but we can try them out. Um, customized case. So the classic case increases drop rate for gunpowder. The 
gold case increased drop rate for Pesetas, which is money. And then the silver increased drop rate for handgun ammo, which is really good. But I'm going to do the one for money. This is also for pre-ordering the game. And then we have a charm. Plus 30% handgun ammo craft bonus. Wow. Let's equip that to the right of our case, I guess. So you can have three charms on your on your case. Wow. And then a herb. Plus 15% health recovery. We got we got a couple charms there. Alright, cool. And then let's save our game. This is my my uh, first one, so. Let's put it right here. Yeah, I didn't get very far uh, in my first little play of this game. Just enough to like get the controls. I wanted to do mostly a blind playthrough. All right. Um, so I hear him talking, but I don't see him. We gotta be getting pretty close to the village now. I I could have shot those uh, crows, but whatever. Um, dead wolf. I hope that's not supposed to be the dog that you can like free from a trap in the original. In the original, there's a dog in a trap or a wolf or whatever, and you can free it. And if you do, it'll help like distract a boss in a future fight. If you don't, then I guess it won't. And I haven't seen a wolf in a trap except for that dead one, so that's that's kind of sad. Alright, I hear him, but I don't see him. There's definitely some guys around here. Oh. Always look around. You really want to get as much loot as you can in this game. Where are they? Are they in this truck? Oh, there he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close, bro. Wasted a few shots on him. Let's try the new gun. Didn't really want to waste my knife durability on a killing blow, but whatever. Some gunpowder. So how do I even use like the gunpowder? Let's see, craft. Oh, handgun ammo or shotgun shells, that's cool. You couldn't craft ammo at all in the original. You could only find it or maybe buy it from the merchant. I don't even think you could buy it from merchant. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, I think maybe you could. Uh, let's auto sort. So the, the SG-09R is a custom handgun made for Leon. And the Sentinel-9 is a fully customized handgun for tackling bioterrorism. Accuracy and versatility make it a reliable shot. So is it better? Like, I wish I could see the stats, you know? Like, what is the power, accuracy, reload time? You could see the stats in the original. Weird that I can't. Maybe if I examine... Okay, there we go. Wow, I'm stupid. Well, I wish it would just show by mousing over it. So this one is... All right, and let's look at this one. Okay, so it has more ammo capacity, right? I wish I could just compare them. Definitely has more ammo. Let's just use this one. Register shortcut. Let's just put it to there. All right. I don't think I can craft anything yet. Okay, here's all the recipes. Yeah. All right, we're good. So this is the Sentinel-9, right? There we go. 19 shots in a clip. That's a lot. In VR, uh, Resident Evil, you could actually grab these skulls and like fling them around and stuff. Like, I swear, the VR version might, <laughs> might even like it better than this one still. This one, the graphics are obviously better though. All right, we got a trap. Let's walk around it. I, I would like these graphics, but in the VR version too. So hi. Oh, that was a sick headshot. I was so ready for you, bro. Don't get back up. Don't do it. Didn't want to waste my knife. 
Ooh, a flash grenade. That's actually very useful. I, I actually will use the flash grenade later on. Because pretty soon we're going to be fighting like a ton of these guys. Yeah, I know how to throw and stuff. Thank you. I got to be watching out for the bear traps. Welcome to Pueblo. Wait, what was that? Ah, just a head. Fell off a spike, I guess. My bad for ruining your decorations. Yeah, this is Pueblo. Uh, nice little village here. What do we got here? Hey, it's, it's our friend, the police guy. Looks like they found him. Shit. Ah, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, you keep distracting him, bro. I'm coming. Don't die on me. Don't die on me, bro. Oh, we got an herb. Here we go. Okay, well, we got their attention fast, so... This is actually... Ow. Ow. No. Not like this. This is very chaotic, so what we are going to do is try to survive as long as possible. Because I'm pretty sure you can't even win this. You just have to survive for, like, a couple minutes. Don't even worry about, like, looting that much. You're going to be able to loot... I mean, I know I am while I'm saying don't worry about it, but... You're, we're going to be able to loot after... I don't even really want to waste my ammo that much, to be honest. I want to go up this uh, two-story building. I'm trying to remember how to get in here. Hi, buddy. Watch out. Yes, in here. In here. Nice. I didn't know it was going to lock the door like that. Okay, we got chainsaw. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's my lucky not, day. Not a problem, not a problem. Let's barricade the door a little or window a little bit. Alright, you know what? Let's just go upstairs. Grab a, a better shotgun. The W87 and a f and a frag grenade. We're getting down. Go, jump, Leon. Oh, hi guys. Let's do this. And then where's my frag? We're going to equip the frag. Here Throw that. Go. All right. And chainsaw guy still alive, so we're running. Okay. Dude, this music is intense. Wait, no, no, no. Run the yard. No. All right, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. Um, let's combine these herbs. This one will restore three times as much health, which I don't really need that much. Whatever, let's just use it. I want to be able to run fast, you know what I mean? I want to kill him because he drops a lot of money. I'm pretty sure. Don't, don't mess with me, bro. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. This is not going as well as I thought it would. We only have to survive a little bit longer, to be honest. Yeah. 
I was trying to kick that guy. Excuse me, excuse me. Don't worry about it. Excuse me. Got that ammo. I would like some more shotgun ammo, but... Handgun, handgun. Hi, guys. Can we... Dude, the cow just... The cow just helped me. Oh, this is bad. Bro, he's so close to dying. He has to be. Oh god. Oh god. Go, Leon. Go, Leon. Up the ladder. Where's the chainsaw, dude? Wait. Huh? La campana. Okay. I just survived. We survived. <laughs> I really was so close to killing the chainsaw guy, dude. We we wasted all of our ammo trying to kill him and still didn't get it. Tenemos que servir. And just like that. They are going to Lord Sadler. <laughs> and they're not worried about me anymore. Dang, we were so close to killing Chainsaw Guy. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh yeah, teammate. Good job distracting the enemy for me. For a moment. Uh, sorry I couldn't get to you in time. I don't know if you noticed, but I was a little busy there. Ruse to Condor 1. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Roost out. That's kind of lame in my opinion. Like, it just shows her picture on the screen in the middle, like, right on you. Like, in the, like I said, in the original, you had a little communicator device with her picture on it. And then in VR, you had a cool little... It, I don't know. They just kind of didn't impress me there. Um, cool. So map shows if we missed any treasure um which it looks like we did miss a red herb right there let's go back and get that herb red herbs are very good all the herbs are good we don't want to miss any items so now that the action is done we can just oh can i go back nope all right well guess we're not getting that red herb now we can just explore, like, we don't have to worry about uh, dying so much. So, this part, we need Ashley uh, to get up there. We don't have her yet. And yeah, we will come back to this spot. Uh, this village, later in the game, so... Um, there's many different ways you can approach that beginning part. You don't have to go in the building like I did. In fact, you get different cutscenes. Oh, okay, well, there's... The shotgun shells I desperately wanted. Um, yeah, you can go any way you want like this. I'm just going to grab all the loot real quick that I can find. Because I know there's a lot of loot around here. And you want to get all the ammo and herbs and stuff you can get, like I said. 
And then we will continue on to the next location. But just got a couple more. Oh, hi. For the most part, you don't have to worry about people. But I guess there's a couple stragglers. Not a big deal. Couple stragglers. Didn't you hear the church bells, bro? You tried to hide in a closet rather than go to church, I see. All right, we don't have a key for that. Couple more areas I want to explore. That dude, that cow charging the the villagers was epic. If that would have killed the machine gun guy, that would have just been so so cool. But unfortunately, only injured. All right, some more shotgun shells. Guess we can reload while we're here. Thinking about it. Anything behind the house? Or shack, whatever that is. Always. Always something behind. More gunpowder. See what I mean? There's there's just a lot of loot. You wouldn't think. Like, there's, there's actually a lot more than you would expect. Can't go in there yet. That's a shortcut back to the village later in the game. So, I... Oh, actually, you see this? Like, I think this might be a shortcut back as well because I don't remember that being there in the original and I think I also saw one of those wells somewhere else I don't remember ah yep right check this out see another one that I don't think that was in the original all right what do we got here ooh the ornate necklace and we can fill it with uh, gems to make it more valuable we have to find gems later in the game you can sell it as it is but Increases the value if you can socket it. And my guy is acting like he's dying. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat this egg so I don't have to hear him panting all the time. And wow, a thousand pesetas there. That was a good little haul. And anything in here, real quick. Always. So I don't know in this one, but in the original, the oops. Some of these crates would have a snake in them. So after you like knife the crate, you would uh, knife again to make sure that you kill the snake if it if there was one in there. I, I kind of miss being able to knife open the, the crates. You don't even want to knife the crates in this one because it wastes your knife durability. I really don't like the knife having durability in this one, to be honest. What is this? Oh, Ruby. Glad I came in here. All right. Uh, before I head on to the next section, let me check the map. That was a locked drawer. Um, gap in the wall. We can't get up. Yeah. So we got all the loot. All right. Let's head on out. Just going to clear this next zone. It shouldn't take too long. And then that should be the end of the episode. Probably around one hour. Probably a little less than one hour, hopefully. There it is. Alright, that's the windmill we need to go by. Also, in the farm area, there should be little medallions that we can find and shoot. And if we find them all, we get like a little bonus. Alright, some resources for us to craft ammo. Can look in our storage real quick. Guess we're fine on that. Fine on all that. Guess we will save our game. I need to like make sure I don't save in the wrong one. I think it was this one. I don't really care about this one to be honest. I only played for like 20 minutes. Uh, all right, let's, let's. I hear some people, so just gotta be careful. There's one. Ooh. You guys see that? That little bit of blue? <laughs> Stay down. Where is she? 
There she is. You gonna come over the fence? Ha! <laughs> he thought. You got a bug on your face. Let me help you. Ow. Not even worried about it because when we're in the farm area, the, the uh, chickens drop eggs like all the time. Uh, oops. And the eggs are just going to heal us right back up again. I'm looking for the medallions. Pearl pendant. And you definitely want to hit it on the side and not let it drop into that nastiness. That was in the original too, though, a little bit different. You had to like close the lid on the well first. There wasn't a spinny thing. Not gonna kill the cows, even though I'm sure some of you want me to. I'm trying to conserve ammo, mainly. This is probably locked. Yep. All right. One open. I think this building, there's only one way in. Well, note. For the love of God, will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions those religious lunatics left hanging around? Three spinals for... Popping all five of them. In the original, you couldn't kick the uh, barrels. You had to use your knife, like I said. Open. Open. Oh, I can just walk through. And no, I'm not going to compare this to the original all the time. Just like in this first episode, mainly. Unless it's really different. Let's turn that off. Yellow herb is very useful. With that, we can expand our health. Our total health limit. Alright, we're up in the windmill, I think. This is pretty cool. Got some shotgun shells. Uh, we're going to have to find the gear to put in there. Anything over on the other side over here. <laughs> Little secret area down here. Just want to grab the loot before we... Go in that other door. Flagging. And look, we, it has a gem slot as well. A lot of loot over here. Like I said, this game rewards you if you explore. A ruby. A kitchen knife. Oh, and there's the uh, the cog we need. Hey, lady. What the heck? All right, that's a shotgun enemy if I've ever seen one. Right in the head. That ought to do it. Anyone else? Anyone else? Two more medallions. Oh, he didn't like that. He did not like that at all. Come get me. Come on. I'll shoot him in the foot. Oh, come on, man. I back step so slowly. Bro's got legs of steel. My goodness, I shot his leg like four times. I feel like the bone would be just disintegrated. Dude must have had uh, superhuman strength. Anything up here? Gunpowder. Handgun ammo. Oh, 
Money, money, money. Oh. One more of those. It's always the last one that's like hard to find, but we'll see what we can do. Oh yeah, we can do this. That'll probably open the gate down there. Yep. Cool, so that's the way out of here, but I want to get the last medallion. We gotta find where that is. Be cool if I could take this C4 with me and use it, like throw it at enemy. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna go forward yet. Let's look for that medallion. It's gotta be around here. I don't think it's too hard to find. Plus, we might find another egg. If we look around with the chickens. Alright, look for any sign of blue that you might see. If I don't find it pretty quick, I'm just going to open the map. Because the map will show probably where it is. I've got another egg over here maybe? Yep. Uh, is it in here? No, we got one in here, right? Alright, um... Let's just open the map. Oh, it's back over here. Is it behind us? Oh, you know what? I bet you it's in inside this little shed. Yep. Got all five. Cool. Do I have to, like, collect the reward? Do, how do I get my spinels? Alright, well, we'll probably turn those in at the merchant, I'm guessing. Alright, now we're good to leave. I think. What's this? I need a key. Green herb? Alright, let's look at the map. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, here we go. So what do you guys think of this game so far? If you've beaten it before, let me know uh, what you think of the differences. I mean, there's, it's pretty much similar like game, game, but it, there is quite a bit of differences. And if you've never played it before, you're in for a treat. This is a good game. It has a pretty decent story. Great boss fights. Great game. Definitely enjoy the playthrough because I'm going to beat the whole game for sure. I've already beaten it so many times on other systems. All right, this is the way to the lake, I think. <laughs> Poor cow. Just chilling and then got diseased. Nothing. It does show all the loot, right? Like, it's not going to have, like, a secret bit of loot over here, right? Ah, it doesn't show the barrel, so I got to remember that. All right, there's a spinel. It shows loot, but it doesn't show barrels. That's important. Look, here's another one. See? I knew there'd be a good reason to come back here. Alright. A gondola right there. I don't think we can get on it though. Nope. This is one of those games where you can't just go like anywhere you want. You, you do kind of got to go on these predetermined paths. But in certain areas like the village, there's a lot of options on how you, where you can go and what you can do. You guys got to remember, this whole game was pretty much designed way back in, like, year 2000. So, I think they did a really good job. Because there's so many games that are like this nowadays. Or ever since. Alright, we got some resources. Hey, buddy. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. How did he get down here? Oh, right there. Can I see? I wish I could just jump up there, but nah. Alright, that was crazy. Oh, they're throwing axes at me now. Let's shoot him in the leg. That should be instant death, right? 
You're still alive? Calm down. Thank you. Money, money, money. Lots of ammo. Should be using my better gun. I actually don't have a lot of ammo. I need to be careful. Maybe I should uh, craft some. You know, I know I can craft some. Nothing behind the barrels. See those bats? Should I try? Okay, guess you can't. Usually if you see like a bird or something, you can shoot it for ammo or resources, but I guess not the bats. me. Oh, you got dynamite? Who's got the dynamite? You hear it. Oh, God. That almost killed me. Okay, not a problem, guys. Not a problem. I have no idea where he is. Just knife him real quick. They move around and it makes it hard to hit them. Oh, that's a dynamite. Whoa. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm gonna blow up. Wait, wait. I blew up, but because of being in the trap, I don't think it hurt me. All right, let's use this moment to mix this. This will heal me and increase my health, maximum health. Okay. Excuse me, let's make some more handgun ammo. Okay, I guess I did get hit by that. Bro, what is with all the dynamite? Ah, come on. I'm trying to run and it's so, he's so slow. And like I said, there's no like dodge. I'm trying not to get blown up. And of course, I hit the wolf trap. Leon, you're so slow sometimes. Come on, bro. If you're good, you can actually shoot the dynamite like out of the air. I remember that. Drop it. Drop it. All right, we are pretty close to the... I should have just disarmed this. The reason I didn't was I was hoping that the enemies would walk through it, which they never did. Um, we're getting close to the end of this episode, guys. We just need to clear out this area. I'm just going to look for all the loot I can find, though, first. All right, did we kill everybody? I think we did. It looks like we can get in there. Hmm. All right, here, right here. Get all these barrels, some gunpowder, a lot more loot in this game I feel like than the original just because of the added items, gunpowder and resources. What is that sound? Look, it's a little Salazar. Oh, we found... We found a secret. One out of 16 achievement. Achievement. Cool. 
so that's new too. That wasn't in the original. Um, all right, I think we're all done here. So I guess it pays off to listen to your environment, listen to your sounds. Ah, uh, chill, bro. I'm going up here. Stop trying to blow me up. I don't like it. Yeah, what you gonna do about that? Light one, light it up, light it up. I dare you. Light it up again. Dummy. Okay. I would love some handgun ammo, but guess I gotta craft it. Probably can't go in here. Need a key. Don't remember this place much at all in the original. If it was, it looks quite a bit different. Another one of these things. Um, let's actually, while I am thinking about it. Let's just craft some more handgun ammo. And how about some more? Should be good on ammo place. for a while. <clears throat> Can I just keep breaking that lock if I kick it? Cool, I don't have to waste my ammo. A thousand pesetas? Yeah, I think this gold attached case is really coming in clutch. We're gonna be rich. Who is doing all that banging? What is that, like cereal? La Marmita? How come people never smiled back in the day, you know? Like in pictures. They, they always look so serious. What's that noise? <laughs> That really doesn't look that heavy, but okay. Hey, hey, what's going on in here? Stop that racket. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. Well, that's one way to die. Now, what were you doing? Ooh, it's dark in here. And look what we have here. That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? I know those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just some time then, huh? Oh, joder, not this guy! Who are you? Just stop right there! Hello, well. In the original, you find Lewis in a, uh, in a cupboard, and that's what the banging sound is. No! Now I'm becoming one of them. And that's the end of the first chapter, guys. Pretty epic, right? Cool. Well, we actually beat it in 43 minutes. Killed 42 enemies. Died zero times. Zero deaths. Although we should have... We, we almost died. Let's be real. Uh, accuracy, 80%. Times damage, 17 times. But we didn't die. So that's going to be the end of chapter one. If you all want to see the beginning of chapter two really quick, we can go ahead and start that. And then that will be where we end off. Sacrificial lamb, you will receive our most sacred body. It begins 
now. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee. Got your name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in office cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess you're here looking for someone. <clears throat> One more guess. Maybe some missing senorita? Young girl. Talk. Now. All right. See, si. her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her. Where? Who knows? But later. Saw some men dragging someone <laughs> to the old church. <laughs> 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 ah, hanging with you. Not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, chain whip. Hey, we're not done here. Later, amigo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Shit, I took my gear. <laughs> All right, guys. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. Will call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. Condor One, out. Chapter two, guys. And with that, this is the end of episode one. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. And I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy.